Hi guys, today um, I'm just going to do a little um, how-to video or how I do video. Everybody has their way of doing things and um, this is on this um, silhouette pick-me-up tool, but I call it a pen because it's used like a drill pen for me and every other diamond paint around there who uses this is a pen for uh, replacement of their drill pen. I've noticed on videos I've seen on YouTube of people um, attempting to use this for the first time that they're not sure how to do it. I wasn't sure how to do it when I got it because these instructions aren't exactly the clearest. What the instructions on the pen say it says remove lid and twist top to expose sticky tack. Two, twist the other way to stop the flow of sticky tack. Three, peel off old sticky tack as needed. That is all it says. So we'll get to that part. But there's another part to this that they don't mention. This end right here, you can see it's chiseled. If it's getting in focus, whoop, let's go this way. If you can see, it's got that chiseled end. Pardon my nails. Um, see there? I use this to move drills around that aren't straight, or I use it if it's on an edge to help pop one up. But what they don't tell you is you can Oh, now it's not going to do it. Pull it out. I was just messing with this earlier and had no problem. Oh, goodness. My hands must have gotten so much for a smooth, quick video. Okay. That's not cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was just sitting here pulling it out and pushing it back in. But it does pull out. I used my teeth, which you shouldn't do. But it does come out. Don't worry about breaking it. Pull it out. It's meant to come out. It, the other end of it is a pointed end. It does have these grooves here in the middle to secure it into the pin itself. Um, it does have this part here in the middle. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, focus. There we go. And I'm sure that's meant for something to use, but it goes all the way through. Like you can help twist something. I don't know. So here's my tweezers. It's right inside. So I'm sure it's it's good for something. That's why it's called a tool because it's more than just a pin. It has several uses. So I use this tip to help with the tacky end when trying to get it just right. Okay, we will go over that tacky part now. If you can see, or you can hear how loose that is. It shouldn't be that loose when you're using it. You're going to just turn it until it's slightly, it's slightly tight. You don't want to twist too hard to tighten it, because this was my mistake, because when I did that, it pushes the tack up and out the tip. That's what you're going to want to do when you need more tack is twist. If you're looking straight at it, you're going to twist clockwise to get the tack to come out. Now, if you're using this for diamond painting, you don't want the tack to exceed, extend past the tip. See, I don't have anything 
past the tip. Because just like your pink drill pins, the area that uses, um, the tacky area that you use is inside the tip for the beveled in edges or the crystal edges of your diamonds to set inside so you're able to pick them up. If you have too much uh, tack outside of it, you can still use it, but when you go to press even a little bit firm onto a diamond, onto your canvas, it's going to go squishing all over the place. And that's the thing we don't like about our pink wax, right? So it tells you, oh, pull off the excess tack and throw it away. Well, I, I'm very frugal and I don't want to waste anything. So I had too much. So I took some time. I used the pointy end of this and I, let's see, I took this completely off and instead of turning clockwise like you would do to tighten it, I held on to this part and I turned counterclockwise. It's really hard to do and it won't move very far, but as you do that, it's going to make more room inside of here for you to shove the tack back inside. So if you don't want to waste any of it, that's what you're going to do is you're going to go backwards on the twist to allow more tack to be put inside. So the excess that you have sticking out, you don't want to waste it. Twist this enough to where you can see that there's a good amount in there of space. Use your, the pointy end of the tool. This is the chiseled end, but the pointy end is what I was referring to and poke it back in there or use your finger and push it down in there. And then if there's still room in there and you don't have no more tack, then you're going to put this back on your pin. You're going to turn it clockwise and you're going to tighten it one tiny little notch at a time until, until you get the tack to just where the edge is. Now it's going to take a while for you to, if you bring it all the way up to the edge, it's going to take a while for it to not goop over unless you just turn it enough to where it's barely underneath the tip so that it's where you need to be. It just takes a little bit of adjustment and fiddling to get it just where you want. But I rarely ever, I think I've twisted upwards to bring more tack out twice since I've started using this. It lasts a very long time. Now, some people do not care for this tacky stuff because it is a bit stringy. And what they'll do is they'll either um, wait until it's gone or they will purposely push all this out by, oh, excuse me, pushing it, twisting it clockwise all the way to push all this tack out and then unscrewing it completely and refilling it with their either their pink wax or they buy Loctite, the blue putty stuff that you use to hold up paper posters. I was going to pick some up this weekend when I went out yesterday and I totally forgot because I didn't put it on my list and that's how I am. If it's not on my list, I forget. So yeah, um, in order to, to completely do that, you could, like I said, twist the whole thing to push it out the top or, but then at that point, I think you'd have to use the pointy end of the tool to dig out the stuff in the tip part, because I don't think this goes all the way up into the tip. Or you could painfully un twist this to get this portion off so that you can have access to the, the tack from this end and then refill it that way. But because it's so tight, if I go backward, see, it's really hard to do. But it is moving, if you can see that. Now I'm going to have to twist it back up because now my tack has moved down a bit. 
well, or at least there's air in there, and I don't know if the positioning of my tack is going to be just right anymore. But it will take a bit to get this cap off if you're going counterclockwise, as long as there's goop in there. So I've never done that, but I have seen people, I have seen their pick-me-up tools with the pink goop in there or blue tack. So that's what you do to use this pick-me-up tool. For diamond painting. I'm going to twist it a little bit there because I know I needed it back up to where I had it. You're going to want to make sure when you're done using it for the day to keep the cap on it so it doesn't dry out. I haven't seen it dry out yet. I'm not sure um, what it looks like if it's dried out or even if it does dry out. But that's just for safety measures. And one thing that I will say when using this, I like it because it is thicker for holding. But when I'm using it for an extended amount of time, I tend, my fingers tend to move into the groove right there between the tip and the shaft. And it, it ends up, it hurts. So I have to train myself to remember to hold it up here or if I'm being adventurous I would hold it on the tip but that's a little bit harder for me to maneuver and control the pen that way so this would be my best place to hold it when doing my diamond painting and it does go pretty fast because I don't have to worry about there not being enough goop on the end and if there isn't I just turn it a tiny bit I mean you couldn't even see it because I could feel it turn and that's all you would need to do to release more tack if it's not enough of course you can add, do another turn a tiny little turn but that's it no more so that is my instructional video on how to use this from when you first start. How you want to do it from there is up to you. But I like it. It's got the heft to it. Not too much, but enough to where I can tell there's something in my hand. And it's wide enough for me not to be gripping really small uh, pens. So I hope this has helped. I would have loved to have seen a video like this when I first bought mine because it took me a while to figure it out. Some people get turned off by the fact that they don't know what you're really supposed to do about it and the fact that there's all this goop everywhere and had they known what to do or how to use it or how other people use it, they might actually have given it a chance or thought that, you know, hey, this is really cool now that I know how to use it. So that's it for my short video. I know my short videos are never short. So I hope you find that you like it. I will post a link as to where I found mine. I also heard that you can get them in Michael's. I've been in there, but I wasn't looking for one, so I don't know if my store carries it, but I have heard of people buying it at Michael's. But I got it on Amazon, and I will post a link to it again. And until then, my next video is what I mean by then. <laughs> I will see you later, and have fun diamond painting. Bye!